I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. We're reporting from Studio C of the Tor Nation TV Complex and the Media Arts Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. I'm Alex and welcome aboard The Express. Today is Tuesday, May 24th, 2016. Attention Lip Dubbers. Lip Dub practice is every day after school at 345 in Mr. Judas's room. All selected Lip Dubbers must be present daily at 345 for mandatory rehearsals. Attention Seniors. Don't forget that all of your finals are scheduled for tomorrow and Thursday. See your teachers for exact times on those dates. The second annual Tor Games is scheduled for Friday. It's time to get involved and start thinking about the events and organizing your grade level teams. Last year's freshman class of 2018 won. See Mr. Spencer or Coach Barker for more details. Attention seniors, all colleges will need a final transcript with a graduating date. Stop by the registrar's office and see Mrs. Santos or Mrs. Alcacer to fill out a final request form. The Sea Scout base at Galveston is sponsoring the U.S. Sailing Reach Camp from July 25th to the 29th. At these summer camps, students explore STEM as it applies to sailing. For more information, contact Abigail Hills at 409-572-2560, extension 1005. Being in high school gives you access to attend some cool trips. One such trip is being planned for next spring break to New York City. See all the sites, including Rockefeller Center, Fifth Avenue, Radio City Music Hall, Times Square, the Empire State Building, the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, the 9-11 Memorial Inn Museum, and much more. All of this, including attending several workshops and going to two to three Broadway plays. Sign up now. See Mr. Judas for more information. Also, also, for the 12th consecutive year, Ball High students, faculty, parents, and staff will be traveling internationally for a spring break educational tour. Next year, the itinerary will highlight the French Riviera, including Monaco, Monte Carlo, and Nice. Students will also take a train to Paris and visit the historic beaches of Normandy. See Ms. King for more information. Attention seniors, library fines and overdue books stay on your record until books are returned or fines are paid. Your account must be cleared before you can walk at graduation. Today at 4 o'clock is the Interact Club Volleyball Tournament serve for those who serve. It's not too late to sign up. Help raise money for the Wounded Warrior Project. See Ms. Profit in room 2015 for details. There will be an important NTHS meeting for old and new members today at 335 in Mr. Hendon's room 1088. The nomination and voting of officers for next school year will take place. Your official weather forecast from Weather Underground calls for mainly cloudy skies and a high of 83. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible, and tonight, expect partly cloudy skies and a low of 76. As a reminder, the Express is recorded 24 hours in advance. To get your announcements on the Express, please submit your request at least 48 hours in advance. Stay tuned for today's Tom Rewind, courtesy of our good friend David Mendel. <laughs> It's Time Rewind from May 24th. Major League Baseball's first night game is played in 1935. President Franklin Roosevelt flips a symbolic switch at the White House and lights illuminate Crosley Field in Cincinnati 600 miles away. The Reds beat the Phillies 2-1. to one. Considered a masterpiece of 19th century engineering, New York's iconic Brooklyn Bridge opens in 1883. The 14-year, $16 million project also cost more than two dozen workers their lives. Washington, D.C. gets a new link to London and Paris on this day in 1976, but it isn't a bridge. It's high-speed air service courtesy of the Concorde supersonic airliner, which cuts travel time across the pond in half. And finally, we tip our hat to legendary composer, pianist, and band leader Duke Ellington, who died on this day in 1974. That's Time Rewind. I'm David Mandel. In addition to the website, Time Rewinds on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Google+, and Twitter. Check it out for more history and pop culture info. Reporting from the Tor Nation TV Complex and the Media Arts Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas, I'm Alex, wishing you a terrific day.